Let's go. Open up. It's time for parkour. All right, time for my mandatory parkour check. Let's get this over with. You're late. You know the deal. You can do the one block jump for the raw chicken, or you can attempt the one block vertical jump for the beef. Here in parkour civilization, no one chooses to jump for the beef. It's better to be safe and do the one block jump for the chicken rather than risk your entire life for just half a hunger bar more. Tomorrow, you better not be late, or you'll be doing two block jumps as punishment. Yes sir, sorry, I won't be late next time. Down here, us parkour noobs only get fed once a day. One piece of raw chicken is just enough to get you to the next day. But that's the life of parkour civilization. If you want to survive, you have to parkour. Every parkour noob has the same goal, and that's to make it to the top layer where all the parkour pros live. Except most parkour pros are born on the top layer. If you're a parkour noob, there's only one way up, and that is through the Temple of Parkour. The Temple of Parkour is the only structure in the world that combines the bottom layer to the top layer. To make it up, you have to do an impossibly hard parkour course that no parkour noob has ever completed. And that's assuming you even get the chance to complete the course. The inside of the temple is protected protected by a barrier, and the only way a parkour noob gets past the barrier is if they've earned a ticket. I've never even tried getting a ticket before, but if I'm gonna rank up to a parkour pro one day, I'm gonna have to. In my neighborhood, pretty much everyone has fallen into the void and died, except for the guy who lives right next to me. He's been my neighbor for five years. No! Why did he try going for the beef? Well, I guess I have to change my statement. I now live in this neighborhood alone. In parkour civilization, only parkour pros are allowed to break or place blocks. For parkour noobs, it's strictly prohibited. And unfortunately, I found that out the hard way. A while ago, I was searching around and I somehow stumbled upon an oak log. No one has seen an oak log in years since trees don't exist in parkour civilization. So I had to try to take it. Stop right now. Oh no, I'm done for. You really thought you could break that without me noticing? What, were you gonna try to cheat parkour? No, sir, I didn't try to cheat. I just just thought it would be super rare and I wanted to collect it. Stop talking. Give me two jumps now. Two jumps in a row? Okay, sorry sir. I'll do it right now. You know what? You seem a little too happy about two. Let's make it three. Okay, I'll do three. You know what? Now let's make it four jumps in a row. Ah, uh, four in a row? Come on. In parkour civilization, it should be no surprise that all punishments were just more forms of parkour. And that was the last time I ever tried breaking a block. You're lucky you got a light punishment. Don't forget you're at the bottom, so follow the rules. It's safe to say that if you're at the the bottom level of parkour civilization, it's not exactly the best. But not everything in parkour civilization is that bad. For example, I was able to use parkour to buy the biggest house in the neighborhood. In parkour civilization, literally everything is parkour, and that means parkour has replaced money. Welcome! Choose which house you want to buy. It's pretty nice. In parkour civilization, all you have to do to buy anything is just make more parkour jumps. I'm not really sure why or how parkour works as a currency, but all I know is I basically bought a two-story house for free. Somehow when I was buying my house, I convinced myself to go for the ladder jump to buy the bigger house. In parkour civilization, parkour jumps with trickier items like ladders are worth more. That's why this jump basically bought me a mansion. No way! Thank you for buying the big house. Let me take you right to it. Just follow me. Let's go. This is awesome. I just bought my first house. All houses in parkour civilization are pre-built, and they all have one thing in common. It's a requirement that every single house has a parkour jump inside to get to your bed. This is a way to make sure everyone in parkour civilization parkours everywhere they go, even inside the house. So, this is the neighborhood you'll be living in. You're the only two-story house here. So if you follow me, I'll give you a house tour. This is so sick. That ladder jump literally may be the richest one in the neighborhood. As you can see, you have a jump on the top floor and a jump on the bottom floor. Let me show you the upstairs and then the house is all yours. All right. I mean, everything looks good. I just have to do this jump to my bed. Uh, yeah, I think I got everything figured out. Perfect. Last thing, I just need to check if your parkour jump is good. How are you supposed to check if it's good? Wait, what the? Did this guy for real just jump off? Uh, I'm really confused. Is he alive? Why did he do that? All right. Just wanted to confirm that your house is ready to move in. The guy did in fact die, so everything should be good. That guy seriously died? Yeah, don't worry about it. It's a part of the job. Enjoy your house. How is that a part of the job? What? No one really remembers how parkour civilization started. Most of the parkour noobs down here at least think that the parkour pros were the ones who started it. But the truth is, I think I was the one who started it. For some reason, I can't remember the best, but I'm pretty sure this is how the story went. Yo, see what? Yo. Hello? Bro, you think I could get a diamond real quick? I was mining for like three hours and I only found two diamonds. I just want to make a diamond pickaxe. Uh, sorry. Don't have any to spare. Bro, come on. Don't be like that. You were literally just holding one. Dude, just give me one and I'll pay you back later. I just need a pickaxe. All right, fine. Give me one second. If you want a diamond, you got to give me something. All right, watch out. Back up for one second. Look, if you can make this four block jump, I'll pay you one diamond. 
make this four block jump. Wait, why? Why are you going to pay me to do parkour? What do you even gain from this? Uh, I don't know. I've just never seen anyone do it before. I'd pay to see it done. <laughs> okay, I'll take the offer. Oh, this is so annoying. All right, just give me a second. I know it's possible. I've done it before. I told you, bro. It's not possible. Just stop talking and watch. I'm gonna do it in like 30 seconds. And there we go. Finally. Look, I told you it was possible. No way. That was actually incredible. All right, well, I got my money's worth. Let's go. I got paid for parkour. If you want, I can keep making more parkour for you to do and I'll pay you for it. Are you kidding? Dude, totally. All right, I'll be back here tomorrow, I guess. And this is basically how parkouring for money started. The next day I showed up to Siwat's house, he offered me way more diamonds this time, and he constructed an entire parkour course outside of his house to do. But little did we know that this parkour course would completely change the way that the world works. Soon after this event, the parkour civilization began. Now that I think about it, there's kind of an unexplainable gap between those events and now, but oh well. Parkour check time. You got 30 seconds. <sighs> Another beautiful morning and I have to parkour for some more raw chicken that will make me starve even more. Alright, alright, I'm here. One block for raw chicken, one block vertical for beef. What are you choosing today? Considering my neighbor just died for going for the beef, I'm just gonna go with the chicken again. Keep in mind, there's a ticket event today. It's gonna be about 200 blocks west. This was huge news. If there actually was a ticket event today, I would need to go for the beef. Ticket events are usually far away, and I would starve by the time I got there if I chose the chicken. But luckily, I got the beef. No way! You made that jump? You might become a parkour pro one day. Wait, you really think I could rank up to be a parkour pro? Ha! <laughs> Not a chance! You're a parkour noob! You guys never rank up. It's important to know that parkour pros have really big egos and they like to put down the parkour noobs. This was an important day. This was only the second time I've jumped for the beef and now I have a chance to earn a ticket. The ticket events are so risky because they're located so far away. If I wasn't paying attention, I could miss just one of these one block jumps and my entire chances of becoming a parkour pro would be over. But luckily, I made it to the ticket event. When I got here, there were only three parkour noobs in line to do the parkour course. Most noobs don't even show up for the courses anymore. Anymore because if you miss one jump, you end up like this guy. And that's the price you pay if you want a ticket to be a parkour pro. I watched as the second noob fell to the void. Hey man, do you think you could go already? I don't know, man. I'm kind of nervous I'm gonna fall. No, you don't need to be nervous. I'm sure you're fine. Oh, shoot. Okay. Never mind then. Before going for it, I wanted to study the parkour course. You see, every week the ticket challenge changes and it's completely random. And this week's course was extremely difficult. There was a two block jump to get to the ticket and if you get it, a two block jump to get out of it. Here's the thing about parkour civilization. Parkour can be used for anything and that includes bribing parkour pros. Check this out. If I do a parkour jump with the 360, will you replace one of the two block jumps with a one block jump? You want to do a one block jump with a 360? Fine. There's no way you're going to make it, but I'll accept. Let's go. The parkour pro accepted by bribe. And now I have another problem. I have to do a 360. Have I even done this before? Whatever. I'm just going to go for it. Please make it. <gasps> no way. I actually did it. All right. Deal's a deal, right? I'm not going to lie. That was the coolest thing I've seen a parkour noob do. Well, the deal's a deal. Here you go. Let's go. Now there was only one two block jump in the course. Still gotta make the first two buck jump, noob. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Just let me do the course, bro. This was my best chance to finally earn a ticket. If I actually get this ticket, I could access the parkour temple and make my way up into a better life as a parkour pro. There was no turning back now. I had to start the course. Most parkour noobs aren't experienced with diagonal jumps, but somehow I got past it. And now was the two block jump. This was life or death. I closed my eyes and I went for it. I expected to be falling thousands of feet per second into the void, but to my surprise, I was standing on the platform with the ticket. And thanks to the deal I made with the parkour pro, I only had a one block jump to get out of the course. This was life changing. This was the first time I've ever received a ticket to access the parkour temple. And I promised myself that I wasn't gonna waste it. I made my way over to the parkour temple. I was in a good spot. I had three full hunger bars, which is the most hunger a parkour noob can have. This was it. There was no better time, no more perfect time to try making the parkour course to rank up to a parkour pro. I walked up to the hoppers in the ground and I threw in my ticket. After a few seconds, the invisible barrier that guards the parkour temple was down. And now, of course, I had to make sure I didn't fail the one block jump to actually get inside the temple. I made the one block jump successfully and now I was officially inside the temple. This was it. This was the moment I've been waiting for my entire life. This was the parkour course that no parkour noob 
group has ever beaten. If you miss any of these jumps, you'll either die from fall damage or fall directly into the void. But I've come too far and I've practiced too much to have that happen. I wasn't just going to be another parkour noob that fails this course, I was going to be the first one to rank up to become a parkour pro. My journey to becoming a parkour pro starts now.